what's up guys another week another launch today I'm off to Cape Town I'm gonna go drive the new Audi a7 it's the international launch even though it's hosted by South Africa because everybody from overseas is coming to us so we're gonna go drive some left-hand drive cars there and hopefully I don't crash anything because my mind's just gonna have a brain fart each time I drive a car with the steering wheel on the different side to what I'm used to it's always a mission but anyways let's go have some fun What's up? And just like that, we're in Cape Town. As you can see, I've got much more space to deal with because I'm speaking to you from the boot of the new Audi A7, whereas before, I was in that little TTRS. So, let's go for a drive. I'm gonna show you what this car can do, and let's check out some scenery. So you find me inside an Audi A7 right now, the 55 TFSI, and naturally if you're in Cape Town, you're going to encounter traffic. But that's not a bad thing when you're in a car like this because I'm getting my back massaged right now. I'm still very confused because you can see that I'm driving on the wrong side of the road for South Africans. Obviously overseas it makes sense, but so far, so good. The car is very comfortable. Um, it's got this funny four-wheel system when you are traveling less than 60 k's an hour if I need to turn in the back wheels turn the opposite direction just to shorten the turning circle and going through some circles I did feel that it was very easy I don't know if the system was really working then but it probably was um, like I say overall very luxurious but we need to drive the car and then tell you more about it so we're gonna do that but for now I'm gonna enjoy my massage <music> So the thing about having an A7 is that it's a GT car. So it's not meant to go very fast, but when you do need to go fast, it needs to do a good job. And now I've got this car in dynamic. This is the 55 TFSI, so I still don't know what that means. All I know is it's got the S, RS5 and S5 motor, but it's got 500 Newton meters and 340 horsepower. I wish I could tell you what that is in kilowatts. I haven't done that conversion yet. What I can tell you though, is that this car is actually very dynamic. I mean, there's minimal roll in this setting that I've got it in right now. And I am caressing these curves quite nice. I'm not being a hooligan because you're not supposed to be a hooligan in a car like this. But it really does handle change of direction very smoothly. This engine is also very smooth. Front end feels good as well. And overall, it's actually quite sporty, this car. Very nice. I'm impressed. And that's a red light. Okay, so now that I'm not driving, this now gives me a chance to sit at the back of this new Audi A7. I've got Ashley Oldfield on the front um, and he is um, probably the best person to be behind the wheel because it's a bit rainy right now and um, he is a much better driver than I am. But besides that, one thing I do notice, okay, first and foremost, I'm 5'7", so I can never do any test of any sort when it comes to legroom because I've always got legroom. I can have legroom in the back of a Mini and I know that because I drive a Mini and I've got legroom in the back of my own car. But that being said, for me, this car is pretty decent at the back here. Um, it is luxurious. I've got a lot of nice electronic controls when it comes to operating the aircon. Got two USB ports. Um, and overall, it's a nice experience. Driving the car, sitting in the passenger seats and sitting in the back of the car as well, it feels nice and comfortable. It does feel like a very luxurious vehicle. And um, I'm happy. I think obviously in this segment, sitting inside of the back of a Panamera, for instance, these cars aren't huge at the back. They're not like, for instance, an S-Class or a 7 Series. They're still supposed to be sporty and somewhat compact in a luxurious way. And from that perspective, I think this car does well from the rear angle. <laughs>
now I'm in the misty side of Cape Town. Um, now we are in the diesel variant of this new A7. And it's got a 3 liter diesel with 620 newton meters of torque. And the reasons why we all love diesel, we'll say yes, they're economical, they can do all sorts of things. But the real reason is the fact that if I do this, it just disappears. I mean, that car just pushes and pushes and pushes. The thing I do really like most about these cars is how comfortable it is. Now somebody is getting right in front of me, so I need to brake quite harshly. And I'm not slamming my face on the steering wheel. Thank you, thank you. Should have just, could have seen the Audi, great Audi, but that's fine. But then we've got the torque again gotta love it now this car if I'm correct is not running the same gearbox as the car we we're driving yesterday the car we we're driving yesterday was running the Ashtronic box um, and this is running the Ash? Tiptronic box. Tiptronic box. 8-speed isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So 8-speed auto box in this um, and it is very smooth the automatics of today are not like the automatics of 10 years ago in fact most manufacturers are actually now starting to stay away from the double clutch systems because they realize just how good the automatics are and overall, I must say, the ride quality of this car is fantastic. It is phenomenal. Um, another thing is that Audi does very good diesels. Um, whether it's their um, 2 liter diesels, but their 3 liter diesels are always good. This is the newer iteration of the engine that you'll get in the um, Q7. Um, so it is just that much more refined. But I must say that obviously now, because this is an international launch, we are running EU6 engines. So these are not particularly the same kind of spec that we're going to get when this car comes to South Africa um, because obviously our diesel is not as good as what they get overseas so VW or the VW group Audi um, has actually brought their own diesel for this launch because our diesel is not good enough so that does mean that we might not have the full 620 newton meters that we do have today the cars might be slightly detuned just to cater for our fuel but that being said in this left hand drive a7 diesel it is very good i think they call this the 50 tdi again i still need to learn how they have used this new lettering system on the car but very good car very very good car niche car but for a person who's looking in this segment I think they'll be they'll be happy with the way this car performs and the way it drives and just how dynamic it is it's still very luxurious and just like that guys we've reached the end of the international launch of the new Audi A7 hosted in Cape Town today we spent time in the diesel variant which is amazing when it comes to torque and in a big car like this that's what you want tons of torque especially when you're gonna be doing long distance so you can keep that economy down and the torque up if I were to choose between the two I'll probably stick with the diesel but that being said the petrol that we drove yesterday was also very good as a complete package this is a very niche segment the buyer wants to feel special and you do feel special in this new a7 overall the package is very good a lot of good tech the car just looks good and overall it drives very well still very luxurious and dynamic at the same time so Audi job well done